Today on Stansbury Living, I'm going to give you the Stansbury Park housing report for October 2018. So let's get started. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Stansbury Living. My name is Trent Ladle, and I'm a realtor with A. Warner Homes and Real Estate here in Stansbury Park, Utah. Are you curious about the housing market in Stansbury Park? I've got the latest sales information from the month of September 2018, so let's check it out. If you're like me and love to geek out on statistics and numbers, stay with me on this. It's well worth it. In September, there were 24 home sales in Stansbury Park. This was down by 11 units from August. Total volume of sales dollars in Stansbury Park for September was down just over 3.3 million from August, coming in at $7.3 million. The average original listing price for September was $310,000, while the actual average selling price in Stansbury Park was $304,000. This made for a 98% effective rate for original list to actual sales price for the month of September. These numbers were nearly identical to those of August. September saw an increase in dollars per square foot, improving upon August numbers. The average for homes sold in September was $127.25 per square foot compared to $122.04 per square foot in August. The number of days on market for homes in Stansbury Park dropped slightly to 26.8 days versus 27.3 days in August. This makes for the sixth straight month of days on market being less than 35 days most likely due to the spring and summer house selling season. We can expect that number to begin creeping up as we are headed into the autumn season. Let's talk now about absorption rate and inventory levels in Stansbury Park. First, let me explain what that is. Absorption rate is the ratio of number of sold properties in a given length of time. Inventory is the indication of the supply of properties based upon the previously discussed absorption rate. Absorption rate is calculated by dividing the number of properties sold by the number of months based on the sales number. The result is in a properties per month ratio. For example, if there were 24 properties sold over the past three months, the absorption rate is eight properties per month. Inventory is calculated by dividing the number of current listings by the absorption rate, and the result is in months of supply. For example, if there are currently 96 active listings, that number would be divided by the absorption rate, or eight properties per month from the previous example, which equals 12, or a 12 month supply of properties available. Okay, so let's review the absorption rate and inventory in Stansbury Park based on September's numbers. For the previous 12 months, the absorption rate was 26.83 residential sales per month with inventory of 2.05 months supply of homes. The absorption rate increases to 28.17 sales per month for the previous six months with inventory somewhat down to 1.95 months supply of homes. Jumping to the last two months, the absorption rate climbed to 32 sales per month while the inventory plummeted to 1.72 months of supply. So what does all this mean? If you're wanting to sell your home, you want to do it now. Even though the number of homes for sale is high, the amount of time the homes are currently on the market is low. And remember that in September, we had a 98% sales price to original list price factor, meaning that if your home was listed for $306,000, your contracted sales price would be $300,000, less any seller concessions. If you're a home buyer, you're not out of luck, even though we are still in a seller's market. You need to be aware of new or upcoming listings so that you can get your real estate agent to schedule you a showing of the property as soon as possible. But before starting to look at homes, you need to be pre-qualified with your financing. This is important because of the six homes listed in September that went under contract in September, four of those six homes were under contract within four days. Wow, that's fast. The other two homes were under contract between 16 and 23 days, but even with those outliers, those homes were only on the market for an average of 8.3 days. So if you're not pre-qualified, 
and it takes you a week to do so, the likelihood that the home that you love will be available to write an offer on is very slim. But like I said at the beginning, I geek out on this stuff. I plan to provide this same report every month so that you can keep up to date along with me on the sales and housing market of Stansbury Park. That will wrap up this month's report, and in the meantime, I'll see you over at stansburyliving.com.